the start of the afternoon and I got to go grocery shopping, but I decided I opened up my baking cabinet and I just cleaned the whole entire thing out and let's just start from scratch over there because it was a nightmare mess. So anyway, I promised the people at work that I was going to make some caramel popcorn. I thought, well, if I go to the grocery store and then come back and make it and I have to go back and give it to them, I thought, no, I'll just make a batch now and then a batch later when I get home for my mom. And we're going to be using, we're going to be doing car caramel popcorn because my mom loves it and I know that the work people would love it too. So I'm using the Pampered Chef microwave popcorn popper. Okay. This thing is phenomenal. Now you need to know what your uh, wattage is on your uh, microwave over there. My microwave is 1100 watts and it does have a popcorn sensor, which I don't have to do anything. It's, it knows the bit. It's like magic. You put that popcorn in and never burns. Okay. So when you do your popcorn, I don't care what kind of popcorn you have. Most of it pops about 80% of it pops. And then 20%, you have 20% left. And we're going to make some in here. Okay. I got 20% of my kernels left that I had uh, popped because I did already pop a few, two bags or actually one and a half of these I popped. One didn't pop very well. I don't think I had enough in there, but I'm going to get rid of these. We're just going to dump those in the garbage along with all my other garbage that I had from earlier. And, uh, we're going to put the popcorn right in here. Now, my name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pamper Chef. And all the tools that you see that I'm using today are available with Pamper Chef. All right. So I'm using Orville Redenbacher. And I'm probably sure this is expired. So that's probably why it's not all popping. I've been checking my expiration dates. Because, you know, it is the season to be cooking. And your expiration, expiration, expiration expiration dates count. All right. I need to know where the expiration date is on this. All right. So anyway, we're going to just put in here. I covered the whole bottom of it. There is a little lid that comes with it. You can pour it in here and do that, but I just cover the bottom, cover the bottom. So no red is showing. Actually, I got a tad bit left. I don't think I need that, that many. We'll do another one. We'll do another little one. All right. So anyway, we've got that in there. I got it all covered. Just the bottom of it's covered. All right. And there's no oil, nothing in here. We're just going to put the lid on here, put it in the microwave. Now, the only thing is when you put your popcorn in the microwave, no matter if you're doing it in a paper bag or a bag that's processed, oh, that's my oven. It's heated to 350 degrees. So when you put it in your microwave, do not put it in the middle and just let it go like this. No, put it on the edge and let it go all around like this. All right. Some, some microwaves go like this. All right. So that's okay. Cause it's still moving. It's not in the center doing this. It's nothing doing this when it's, it's cooking. Okay. It needs to cook all the way around. So it cooks nice and evenly. All right. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. We're going to put it on the sensor thing for popcorn and it pops like within three minutes. All right. If you want to time it, you can time it. Got that over there. Off center popcorn sensor. We're done. Oh, I forgot. I made myself a nice cup of coffee too. So I don't know where anybody is. We have one person in the room. Let me see who the one person is. Uh, manage viewers and we'll say nobody. All right. No big deal. We are broadcasting up to YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook on my Facebook business page and, um, uh, my profile and two of the VIP groups I'm in right now. Okay. One is my personal VIP group, which is Alexis C can do kitchen. All right. Cause if I can do it in the kitchen, you can do it in the kitchen. Now let's get this going because that's going to be popping, but we need to get, uh, the rest of the caramel pop popped right now. And I'm going to flip my camera over so you can see what I'm doing. So I got a pan right here. I'm going to just turn this baby on. Oops. You're falling over on me, but I caught you. I caught you. There you go. Let's get a sturdier. And there's my cleaning supplies. All right. Uh, put that there. If it turns on, we can turn on the stove. It's great. Ah, there it is. All right. The stove is on. We'll put the dough away. I've got some lime away and some, uh, I'm going to do some cleaning over there. I am definitely in the mood for cleaning and put, uh, getting some stuff up. So anyway, we got a stick of butter. We're just going to put the stick of butter in the pan and let it melt. Now this was put out about an hour ago because before I started cleaning my, my, um, little bakery pantry down there. There we go. We got all that. Just let it melt. One stick of butter is a half a cup of butter. You're going to put in a quarter cup of uh, corn syrup. Okay. Quarter cup. This is the measure all. It goes right in. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Put that right in. And we're going to use a uh, spoon on this one. I'm going to use the corner spoon. It's a wooden spoon. And you're going to use a, uh, a wooden spoon because it can take the higher temperatures. All right. 
And this does clean out. You just have to push it right through. This side's the, the sticky side and this side's the liquid side. Just take it right out and it goes, pops right back in. So you clean it. Right. Got that. Next. Ah, we're going to melt this baby around. And let's see, we're going to put, uh, we're heated the oven to 350. We added our popcorn to two sheets lined with parchment paper. That's the key to making, um, caramel popcorn because you don't want to stick it to the to the pan do not use wax paper it will melt in the oven all right uh let's see we're gonna find the brown sugar i also have a cup of brown sugar this is what made me clean out my pantry this is all i have left of brown sugar so we're adding that whole cup i'm using the one cup measure all to measure this in all right just break that right down there we go and we are going to town all right got that cook and stir it's gonna take about five minutes here five minutes put that caramel sauce in and all it is is sugar, butter, more sugar, all right? Let's just let that sit and let it melt and do its job, all right? Uh, we're gonna stir with either a bamboo spoon or a wood spoon because it can take the higher temperatures. Don't do it with something that's gonna melt in your pan because sugar gets to a really high uh, melting point and is the worst burn you can have besides oil, okay? Because what happens with the sugar is that it adheres to your skin and it pulls the skin right away. So that's a really bad sugar burn. So don't do that. We're keeping it on a medium low so that, you know, we don't ever quick cook anything. We never really cook things on a high temperature. All right. So we're going to let that just bet gently, gently bubble, bubble up. All right. Make sure your pan is deep enough too. Don't be using a thin pan that it's going to boil over and then make a mess on your countertop. Sugar is a little bit easier to clean up uh, than oil, I believe. However, I did have a little sugar spill on, down in my uh, baking pantry. It was the light corn syrup leaked out and it became hard as a rock. The way you get that off, if it does, if that happens to you, is just get hot um, a hot towel. Keep on. My, I kept on microwaving my towel and putting it on the little sugar spot, and eventually it came up. It, I did have to work on that one. All right. So we're just melting our butter and our brown sugar here. Just let it go to town, and I'm going to go get our popcorn while we're waiting here. All right. All right, so one thing about the microwave, uh, anything you put in there gets really hot, especially after time. And this is super, super hot. So I have the, the Pamper Chef Cozy that you can purchase with this popcorn maker. The popcorn maker comes either in this size, which is five cups or a 10 cup family, uh, I think, no, seven cup, seven cup uh, family one. So it all depends how much popcorn you have. This one's fine for myself and my mom. Uh, I'll save this popcorn for uh later on tonight we'll make another batch of this for my mom okay so we got this going just let it melt now this is where it does take time it takes about five minutes so uh i did go and walk my brother's dog today then i went to the uh general uh dollar general they were having some really good sales in there uh they had chocolate chips for 250 bag in there they had detergent on sale I forget what else we got Kellogg's Frosted Flakes my mom got. Uh, I did buy their toilet paper there and trying it, trying it out. It was only $3 for, I think, four rolls. So I thought, okay, I'll get that. I'm also going to Walmart later on. And I need to go look at some shoes because I think after all this walking, even though I lost like 54 pounds, I think my feet expanded, y'all. So I'm going to go and get um, check out shoes that are wide widths now, not medium widths. All right. Just so far, probably TMI to y'all. All right, so this is how it's taken. It's 10 cups of popcorn that we popped up, one cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of butter, and a quarter cup of light corn syrup. Now, the magic is we're going to let this just let this sit and bake for about five or cook for about five minutes on low. You're going to see a change in the consistency and the color of it. Uh, and then we're going to be adding in some vanilla and uh baking soda baking soda now this stuff is what makes it like form a different consistency the baking soda just totally changes it and the vanilla makes it a great flavor now this is a pampered chef double strength madagascar uh bourbon vanilla and i'm going to be using a half a teaspoon of this and a half a teaspoon of the baking soda all right and once this goes again we're just going to let this bubble away for about five minutes and i don't know what time it is one it's one th 135 so let's just let it go let's see how, how long it says cook without stirring oh lexus loves to stir stuff i like to touch my food all right so let's just ah 
I put that right on the side so it doesn't leak over? There we go. And let it sit there. All right. So let me bring this over back over and we can say hello and chat with each other because I know you don't want to sit and watch that all day, right? So I did make, uh, I did, I did find some uh, K pods and I thought, yeah, I went to a Starbucks yesterday and paid $5.51 for one coffee. I got this Starbucks absolutely free. I just used my Keurig machine and it was a Starbucks. I'm going to go, let me go. Oh, I think I threw it away. I threw it. I, what's, let me see. It was Verona. I used a Verona one. It's in here somewhere. I got a few more left. I got, a, it has Cafe Verona on it. So this is what I'm drinking today. Not good to the last drop, but hey, it's better than paying five fifty dollars a, a cup of coffee. So cheers, everyone. Let me know if you're watching this on the replay. Thank you. Um, let me see. I think everyone that watches my replay, thank you so much. Tell me where you're coming in from. All right, so this is definitely bubbling up over here. I'm going to move this stuff around. I also got some cake mix. I got some red velvet cake mixes. We're making some cookies with that, two-ingredient cookies. How easy is that? I am not into, like, um, mixing and matching and then trying to get the perfect cookie, and then they come out flat or broken or whatever. So, anyway... We're making some perfect cookies with some cake mix there. Uh, let me see, flip the camera over and I'm gonna show you what we're doing. See how it's bubbling up? It's getting a different consistency right here. All right, so just let it bubble. Again, we only have a few more minutes left. I'll probably go to nine minutes after because that's when, when we actually need to add the rest of the ingredients in. Now, once this is done, all right, we are going to um, um, work rapidly and put this caramel sauce over our popcorn. All right, and I already have my popcorn done up, which is right here. It's on a tray. It's on a nice pampered chef tray. These trays are um, like restaurant quality. They are not your your typical cookie sheets, all right? And I have my popcorn already ready to go. Now, if you want, you can add other things to it. You can add pretzels in here. You can add different types of nuts. You can even, when it's done, add chocolate chips. So don't do it beforehand, because otherwise it'll melt and it'll be really a chocolatey mess. But you can add pretzels, uh, Chex Mix in here. We're just doing plain popcorn. Now, one thing I did forget, y'all, we need to add some, some uh, salt, salt. And I'm gonna get some I'm going to do the kosher salt. I need to go. Oh, oh, I need to move y'all because I need to get in my cabinet here. All right. So I'm going to be adding some kosher salt. I do need to put on my list some pink Himalayan salt uh, so I can put that in my diet because it has magnesium in it. And I need a little more magnesium in my in my diet. All right. So this is just going strong. Uh, again, let me know what, what platform you're watching this on. That helps me figure out where you are and where you are watching and saying, hey, that platform is doing really well. Uh, we are broadcasting up to YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And I think I attach the, um, what's that new one? TikTok on there. Hey, Debit, how are you doing? Hello, B Jangles, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, uh, Haps is either dead or alive. I don't know what it is. Uh, we did have a little broadcast with Bobby Bicker and uh, the creator of Haps, Mark, and uh, didn't get a whole lot out of that besides saying, hey, it's going to the musician. So, Hey, Paps is going to the music, but we're still cooking away and doing our creativity and being creators here on Haps. Because I like the app. I do like that it can share out and I can do it to multiple platforms. So I see you on all the other all the other platforms. All right. So we're at about 139 and uh, we can get this. I'm going to mix this up. You can see how the consistency is. It is totally different than when we put it or originally put that in. Now we're going to get our, our rest of our ingredients, which is a half of a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now have these ready to go before you add them in. All right. What's in the pot? Caramel sauce for our caramel popcorn. All right, so we have baking soda, have it ready to go. And then we're gonna have a half a teaspoon of double strength. Yeah, this is double. So if you're doing it, do one teaspoon, okay? Of vanilla, all right. Now, the thing is, once you do this, I'm gonna pour this over the sink so I can get this right in. There we go. Once you do this, it's gonna have a chemical reaction and it will foam up on you, all right? So this is where it gets a little bit, oops, I gotta get one more thing. I need to get my handle for my for my pot, y'all. All right, and put the handle on, put the handle on. There we go, because we're gonna move, we're gonna have to move this in a second. All right, so put that in there. All right, and this is where it's doing the chemical reaction and you need to mix it really quick, all right? And this is what makes it solidify and get hard on you for your caramel popcorn. 
All right, you see the difference in the texture has totally changed. All right, now I'm gonna turn off my heat and now we're gonna work really quickly. You see it's pulling away from the sides too. It's all solidified. So we're gonna put in half of it on this one, which is, um, just put half of it there. There you go. Put that down and work quickly and mix in your caramel with your popcorn. And this is where the parchment comes in because you can mix and match and roll it around. Now, I'm not looking at your comments, so don't say, hey, how come you're not seeing it? I know a lot of people say, you're not reading my comments. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all. It's really hard to read comments and cook at the same time, especially if you have a knife or something hot in your hand or you're dealing with fire, okay? So just be careful. All right, just mix it around. Now, what's gonna happen is that this is gonna actually bake in the oven and it will come out crispy. All right, you can, you can eat it just like the way it is. Just cool it down and eat it, but it's a little tacky. When you put it in the oven, it does a magical chemical reaction and it makes it nice, it dries it out and it actually makes it um, stay longer. Like you can, you can uh, keep this for a few days, actually a few weeks in the bag. Okay, usually in a Ziploc bag, I put this for my mom. Right. Let's put that right down. Yeah. And again, this worked pretty quick because the, it dries really quick, all right? I'm gonna put that in. Now I'm gonna have to add my salt in here right now. So I can mix it in, put that in, all right? So there's no salt and we, we know that salt is a spice of life and I don't have pink Himalayan, so I'm just gonna do some kosher salt. That's a nice little amount of salt because we do like salt on our popcorn, right? If you don't want the salt or you can't take it, then leave it out, okay? Add a little bit more into this this mixture. Okay, just a little bit more. Uh, just a tad more because the other pile, the other one is a smaller tray. All right. So and then it's about ten cups of popcorn that I have here that we popped up in the microwave popcorn maker. And again, all these tools are available with Pampered Chef, and you can see the uh, end result on my VIP page on Facebook. So the link is in the in my well, the link is everywhere. I rarely leave home without my link. And you can see how when I pick it up, it's settling to the bottom. That's what's going to happen when it gets in the oven. So just keep it, just keep it on moving it around, all right, so that you don't have any on the bottom. Now, it will move to the bottom once it gets into the oven, and you're going to mix it one more time when it gets out of the oven. All right, I'm going to put that on top. All right, so this one's all done and ready to go in the oven. And you're gonna leave it in the oven for about, let me see, it was about 10 for about 10 minutes. All right, so let me ask Alexa to set the time for 10 minutes so I don't burn my popcorn. Yes, I have burnt popcorn in the oven doing this because I didn't set a timer. Always set a timer so you know the exact time of it. All right, so we're gonna put this right in the oven. 350 degrees. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. Out. Here's our second tray. Again, we have need to we need to do two trays with this. And we're just going to add in our caramel sauce, the rest of it, and it does come right out. And this is super easy to clean uh, in your in your sink because sugar melts at on high temperature on hot hot water. All right, so it's not like oil. You're going to be cleaning it there for days. No, no, no. All right, let me see if I can get it all out. Uh, there we go. Get it all out and flip this in. This is going to be really good one here. So I thought I would make some for my mom, and then I told the workers I would make some for them too, because um, it's Christmas, and they they always ask me, well, what did you make today? I'm like, I didn't make anything. I went home and went to bed, and I got, came, up, came right back to work the next day. So I do have a, um, a little temporary job or part-time job um, that I need to take, but I'm looking for people to host a party. Hosting a party is really easy. Uh, especially on the new platform that that is a website called Table, and all you do is share your link, and people can pop in the party and see what's new and see all the Christmas um, goodness that Pampered Chef has to offer. Because we're always looking for new recipes, new tips to do things, and new products that we can use in our house to make cooking a lot simpler. Okay, so this is gonna be really good. Gonna see how it's at the bottom, right there. We'll mix it around. All right there. Oh, this is this is gonna be delightful. All right, so I got a lot on my wooden spoon. 
and that's okay. And so even down here, you see how that is? Just put it right on, on there. And it is still hot, very, very hot. So just be careful. You don't want to burn yourself or anything like that. If you have kids, you may want to skip this part, let them do the popcorn, okay, or eat it. There we go. So we got all that. This is going to be a really good one. All right, this has a lot of this. All right, who wants the spoon? Who wants the spoon? Hey, Aiden, how are you doing? Who wants the spoon? Aiden wants the spoon. All right, so we're going to put this in the, in the, in the oven. Alexa, set the timer, a second timer, for 10 minutes. Alarm for what time? Oh, no. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. Second timer, 10 minutes. There we go. Starting now. All right, so that's... uh. That, it takes time to cook, all right? And I know you can go onto any other platform and see the plop, plop, fizz, fizz version of it. I'm trying to put the darn lid on here. I'm telling you what, I have the worst time with lids and opening things. All right, so this is going to go in the sink. And I'm just going to put hot water on it. I might have stuff in here. Whew. All right, put hot water in there. There. And my mom's using the hot water. So hello, hello. Let me see. Flip our camera over. Hello, hello. It is Saturday. It is casual Saturday. And I went shopping down the street to the Dollar General. And I took some pictures of, of different prices of brown sugar. So when I go to Walmart, I'll figure out if the brown sugar is cheaper at Walmart or, or at the Dollar General. Because, you know, it's all about saving money, right? And I did clean the bottom of my cabinet. And I have... It looks really nice now. I got to show you how nice my my cabinet looks. Let me um let me open let me open it up first. First, we're, there's my 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 stuff. Oh, how long does sugar last? Any question on there? I'm gonna open up. So here's my baking cabinet. If you saw the before picture, you would have been mortified. I was mortified of it, but it's right down there. I have it in little baskets. I'm gonna go to the dollar store and see. If I can get that white basket like that. Then I have my flowers right there. And then I have um, my mom's um, maple syrup, fake one stuff. We have um, breadcrumbs and I have more sugar over in that little round one there. And then I have all my flat, um, like parchment paper and stuff like that is right in there. So anyway, there's the microwave. You got that. And all my seasonings for Pampered Chef are right there. So hello, JB, how are you doing? Oh, we forgot to put the salt. Well, we can put the salt on the second one when it comes out. Okay, we'll leave it in the oven. Remind me to put the salt on the second, um, ooh, that's hot water, on the second uh, batch that went in. And now I'm going to put some of this stuff away. I could put this away and this away. I should consolidate my, my liquids here. All right, well, I think the next batch, I'll use all this one up and then I'm not buying more of this. <laughs> We're going to use the second batch. Because I have another one in there, too. Oh, let's put this down here. There. Oh, man. I'm consolidating everything. Wow, that's a delay for the comments to show up. No, I'm not reading the comments there, JB. Unfortunately, um, I'm jumping around, and it took forever to get even two people in this broadcast. And I did find that when we share out to other broadcasts, the first 15 seconds on HAPS is missed. And so when I do my broadcast, I'm just going to do like one picture. Like when you came in, if anybody comes in and watches a replay, I just did this and I leave it there for at least 15 seconds before um, I come, before I start talking, because otherwise you miss the whole preview. But anyway, for those of you that don't know, my name is Alexis. I live here in Southeast coast of Georgia with my mom and my dog. And uh, I teach you how to use your kitchen tools. Most of them are pampered chef. So you can make one I'll make it in my house at your house. And caramel popcorn is a great gift to give anyone. All right. Hello, Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Hey, Aiden. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm going to enjoy that lovely people. People's broadcast. What's a people's broadcast? Haps is here, is here. Blessing to you in abundance. It looks good, says Edward Lynn. Thank you so much. Thank you for the burst, Debeth. I appreciate it. Let me see. Yeah, it takes forever to, to see the comments either. Um, so uh, these cake mixes at the Dollar General, not the dollar store, I got to go to the dollar store and get some file folders there, uh, were $1. So we can make cookies for one buck and it doesn't cost me hardly anything. I think it's this and pudding. I put it, I forget what the two ingredients are. Don't ask me because I got to look at my own recipes. Okay. Uh, how long does sugar last? How long does sugar last? Just saying. 
Um, I bought this whole thing of sugar. I bought this sugar. Okay, pure cane sugar, marina cane sugar. It's not been opened, but it's expired. I don't think sugar expires, does it? <laughs> I don't know. 12 months after it expires? 12 months after it expires? Why does sugar expire? That's what I'm trying to think. Is, is Does sugar really expire? <laughs> I have no idea. So anyway, I also bought yellow cake mix in case my mom wants something or we could do different cookies with this one. And then I got chocolate cake mix for Bryce because Bryce likes chocolate cake with chocolate uh, frosting on it. He likes the Yule Logs. Uh, Aiden did a um, uh, post in World Kitchen on Facebook group and uh, he had the Yule Log and Bryce loves the Yule Log. Now, I've never seen the Yule Log um, standing up like this. You had it like standing up. I've never seen it done that way. That was quite unusual. I was like, oh, pretty clever. Because I usually do it round. You roll it up and then um, cover it with the icing and it makes like a long log versus a stump. <laughs> I think it was more taste and smell says, yeah, you know, I should take my own advice uh, voice. I did a, when we did the seasoning broadcast, it, it looks like what it looks like. It looks, it looks good. It looks good. It looks like the same color. Um, I did not open it up to smell, taste. I didn't open it up yet. Yeah, take a stand. Yes, a stand up version. I want to make it, but without the chocolate frosting. What kind of frosting? It's usually a brown log, which is chocolate frosting. Right, let's put that over here. Okay, I got the cake mix up. Cake mix is gone. All right. So I was really excited. Let me see what else I have over here. Oh, I found some other stuff too. I found some quinoa. Okay, got the quinoa. That doesn't go in my baking stuff. We still have some coconut flakes, and I have my eyeballs. That's in the baking one. Let's put that in the miscellaneous one. So I need some more. I need some more of those containers to um, do that. And so this sugar is expired by a little bit, by a lot actually, <laughs> without the icing. How do you do a yule log without icing? That's going to be quite clever. <laughs> All right, so let's taste the popcorn. I'm going to take in two tastes of popcorn because usually the, the little little kernel parts get uh, stuck between my teeth. That's really good. All right, let's put that in the sink. Put the lids on stuff. Remember, we have to put the um, sugar or the salt on the second batch. I even took the liner out of the, the cupboard. So I wiped the entire cupboard down. So my my, my cooking cat, there you, oh, what is that? Okay, I have the long messages. Mm. Yep, I can feel all that. I don't know why I eat popcorn. It's all over me now. It's all over me. JB, cheers. My brother's um, chickens laid two eggs today. And they laid two, two eggs the other day. Oh, there's our, our popcorn. Two eggs. I already ate two eggs today. It was my first eggs in a long time. Um, all right, now, now I need to get the, the pan out. Alexa, turn the timer off. All right, it's looking good. Let's take that out. Right. Lift one up. Ah, don't get burnt, Alexa. All right, yeah. Got it. All right. And I think I can take the other one out too. Yeah, I can take this one out too. Alexa, turn the second timer off. Woo! Setting timer canceled. All right. So I took the bolt of them out. We can cancel the stove and let's flip the camera around and we're going to mix this baby up. Okay. There is our caramel popcorn. We need to mix them. We need to work quick. I remember the pan is really hot and you see how it got really dark down here? That's how I know I, I took it out on time. All right, it will make it a little dark on your edges there, depending on how hot your stove, your oven is, how it runs. All right, but mix up the, the uh, caramel. Otherwise, the caramel on the bottom will stay flat. You're just trying to mix this as much as possible. All right. Getting it all off of the parchment on the bottom. And again, working quickly helps a lot, okay? Like you want to get most of it covered. Now, this is the one that we ha already had the salt in it. And it's looking pretty good. There's no like drippy spots on the bottom. 
All right, I'm gonna get my uh, cooling rack out and put it over on the other counter here so I can move this baby and put that. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the, mel when the sugar melts to the bottom of the pan. That one's perfect. This one here, we had a lot more uh, caramel and you can see how it melted right in the middle right there. And that's where we're gonna get in and mix this one a little bit better. Otherwise, it's just gonna be uh, caramel down at the bottom of the, of the par parchment. It'll stick to it like that. It'll be nice and flat. Okay. The mix is, oh, salt, y'all. Y'all forgot to tell me the salt. Who told me the salt? Okay, salt. There we go. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Yesterday I was at work and the chef was behind the, the line there. And he had a salt in salt shaker and he gets it like this. And he's like, huh? And he had a little bit in his hand and he went like that and threw it over his left shoulder. It's good luck, right? However, the owner, Lisa was walking right there. And she got it right in her hair. <laughs> because I didn't see you there. I hope you had salt all over her. It was a nice amount. I even saw it flying. I was like, oh. oh my God. It was funny. You know? All right. So this is nice. This is, see how we're mixing it and we're bringing it up from the bottom so that we don't have these little flat pieces there. We want to have all that caramel corn on the popcorn and not on the, on the parchment. This is the time that the, the caramel that we put on here melted and it went down to the bottom, but now we're just mixing it together so that it, um, coats the entire popcorn okay and again if you want to use a little bit of Chex mix any type of mix um, uh, uh, pretzels in here go right ahead okay I'm just doing popcorn this is total caramel popcorn all the way and you can see the difference um, you can see that like look look I have the caramel right there get down Whew. all right Alexis has a long strand of caramel here Okay. Oh my gosh. It's caramel. It's caramel season here. Look, it has a, like the long string. That's just like pure sugar right there. But here's our caramel. You can see it. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Wow. Yeah. This is really, really good. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to leave this batch for my mom and I'll take the other batch for the workers. Okay. So that now I can go to Walmart and I don't have to take a second trip because it's about, um, I would say 12 miles to Walmart from here. And my work is about, uh, I think seven miles from here. So there we go. So just let it cool off and you, you don't have to bake in the oven, but the baking in the oven makes it like crispier. And we did have a taste test a while back with my mom and my son. <laughs> Look at the spun caramel right there. That's spun caramel, not my hair. Okay. So, um, uh, and they liked it when it, the baked one, the other one was tacky. Just take the extra step and bake it for about, I would say eight to 10 minutes, depending upon how hot your oven runs. All right. So this is definitely beautiful on here. And then once it's all cooled down, let it come to room temperature and then put it in a bag or a gift bag that makes great gifts. Your own touch on this. You can change it into different flavors. Also, you can do almond flavor. Uh, you can do a little bourbon in here and put bourbon vanilla in it. Uh, there's all different ways of doing your, your own caramel corn, but this is a great, great gift for anyone. All right. So, hey, uh, voice, how are you doing? Alexis, what? Peace. I, what is that sign? I don't like that sign. I thought you were the peace one there, JB. Uh, yeah, I see that one there. But anyway. I love to, for you to uh, join my VIP group. It's a Facebook group and uh, I'll put the pictures over there and the recipe. I do have the recipe over there. I'm not going to show it on here. You have to go back and watch the replay. Okay. So I thank everybody for coming in and spend a little bit of your time here. Uh, this is awesome. Let me see. I'm gonna put, let's put some up right up to you so you can see what it looks like. There you go. We'll use that as our final picture. Although I have the cleaning stuff right there. No big deal. Let's put that down a little bit and just put it right how's that there we go final picture for the show and i'll see you all next time when i come live teaching you how to use your kitchen tools most of them are pampered chef so you can make what i'm making at my house at your house and yes oh it's a love sign okay 
All right. Well, anyway, thanks for coming in. I'll see you all next time. Have a great Saturday or whatever day of the week it is you're watching this. Please put in, please put in hashtag replay and tell me, are you going to make this or not? Bye.